Cancers of the stomach and esophagus are among the most common cancers globally. More than 40,000 cases were diagnosed in the U.S. last year. Certain patients with advanced gastric cancer will have more HER2, known as an overexpression of the HER2 biomarker. These patients have been shown to live longer when a targeted therapy is added to standard chemotherapy. This guideline is needed now because we've known for a number of years that HER2 is overexpressed in breast cancer, but it's a more recent discovery that it's also expressed in these gastrointestinal tumors. Because of recent developments, we have a what we call biomarker to identify a subset of patients with advanced gastric cancer who can benefit from a treatment that has been given to breast cancer patients for years. But we found that applying the same guidelines for HER2 testing in breast cancer does not work for these patients with gastroesophageal cancers. We don't have like a comprehensive um, guidelines to how to test the biomarker. We've been leaning on the breast guidelines but there are differences between how the, this biomarker appears in, in breast cancer tissue compared to gastric cancer tissue. So the guideline is needed to identify the patients who might benefit from therapy for this particular kind of cancer. I think the guidelines really provide this phenomenal uh, crystallization of the literature uh, in each discipline that is all listed in the guidelines and this is done not by just one expert, but number of ex experts in individual disciplines. Well, starting off, the medical oncologist should use the guideline to decide which of their cancer patients should be tested in the first place. A patient who has a very poor performance status, who is uh, very sick, has a lot of other problems, should probably not be tested in the first place because they wouldn't be eligible for the treatment, even if their cancer was positive. The pathologist can use the guideline to decide which specimens might be best suited for testing. And the guideline also provides a step-by-step -step procedure for, for the order in which the test should be performed. So I think the ultimate product is going to be uh, very high quality, uh, very useful for almost every uh, individual who takes care of cancer patients. And this includes the caregivers themselves. It will be highly educational for the patients because it increases the awareness. Gastric cancer is very prevalent worldwide. It's consistently in the top five cancers globally. It is decreasing in this country, but esophageal adenocarcinoma rates are rising in the United States and other Western countries. So this guideline has the potential to impact a large number of patients. To learn more about how to ensure that patients receive the best treatment for their type of cancer, visit our websites below.